what's up? We're finally back on the Grom for another video. It's been extra rainy in Alabama with the summer approaching. First things first though, I need some gas. Bad. Only got two bars. No Western civilization. Alright, so 275 got me a full tank. That's not bad, actually. I was expecting to get a lot less because usually, most of the times when I've went, the gas has been a little bit higher there, so I don't ever really get a full tank off of pocket change anymore. Yeah, so summer's coming up, and uh, so far in our springtime here, it's been doing nothing but raining, all right? Every other day we might get a nice day, and then, and then I don't know, Alabama weather is so weird. Uh, like, it was 30 degrees the other night, and then today it's 70 degrees and cloudy, so I, I don't know, man. Alabama weather has always been weird, and uh, as you can see, the river is up high. Really high. No one's going to be on that shit. One thing's for certain, I am so tired. <clears throat> I'm so tired of having to take these boring ass, uh, they're not boring, these roads aren't boring. I love these roads, but like I'm tired of taking the same damn trip whenever I get on the ride. It's just because I don't really have nowhere to ride. I guess it's always, also could, uh, also part of that factor could be uh, I am, I'm a fucking broke. So, <laughs> you know, you can't, you don't really want to ride to, I don't know, Florida where all the nice shopping places are and stuff like that and you fucking go out there and, or eating places, not shopping places, eating places. And you can't even goddamn get one of those fat ass shrimp thingies on the docks or whatever. Yeah, look at that, dude. River's up high as shit. So I want to tell you all about this little experiment I did, okay? So I found a 91 YZ frame. It was literally nothing but a damn frame. Uh, I still had the handlebars. Uh, so YZ is a dirt bike, you know, 91, two-stroke kind of shit. Anyway, those bars are a little bit longer on the each ends than the ground bars. But the only problem I had was they sat lower. And I guess I should tell you all that. I, I, I was trying to put YZ bars on the ground. Um, I should have a picture popping up now. They didn't look that bad. They honestly didn't. It was just, they were just a little too low for my liking. And I don't want to be crunched over like this whenever I'm riding the Grom. Just not my favorite thing to do. Which, I posted a walk around video of the Grom, like explaining the things that I've done to it over the year of having it. And, uh, but I posted that on Patreon. And unfortunately, we only have one Patreon member. Uh, so like 0.0000000000. .000000 one percent of you are joined in the patreon so if you're interested in that uh link will be in the description below but yeah i put these yz bars on there thinking that maybe i could be a little unique and not have to go and get the pro taper uh se minis whatever the fuck they're called and yeah it just didn't work it, it didn't look too nice so in the process of putting back uh so in the process of putting the stock bars back on i kind of tilted them a little too high i guess which has kind of been weird but not really i kind of like them a little bit higher than they were so you know i don't know i guess it's a win win is a win is a win and uh recently in some mod videos i've recommended the kimimoto exhaust which i don't know if you can see that because yeah the kimimoto exhaust right there and um with the kimimoto exhaust okay that bitch is falling apart, all right? It's an Amazon exhaust, it's $98. Uh, I've listed it in descriptions and shit and, and in my Discord server and like, it is just falling apart. So, you know what? I'm gonna be dead ass honest. It lasted for a good three months, but after that, it just fell to pieces. Uh, even so now that the jug on the inside of the, um, 
the can or whatever the hell you want to call it is rattling around so bad it sounds awful Like I said in the Patreon video, uh, some people told me that I could message the company, Kimimoto, and request for a new one, and they would give me one, uh, but I've had it for a year, so I don't know if there's like a warranty or some shit on it, or how long that lasts, I don't know, I have to check it out. Exhaust. I don't think I think my only other problem will be my rear tire. It's getting pretty bad uh, Just you know getting a little slick after 3,802 miles and um, Yeah, it's, it's definitely time to get a new tire But I mean if you got to get a new tire then that means you got to get two new tires And uh, I don't really know what I would want. I've seen a lot of people say things about Michelin City City something. I don't know I know in the past with my dirt bike before I got rid of it um, I was running Michelin brand and I was using the Star Cross and Michelin's always been a really good brand in my opinion so I might just stick with them. I already know there's going to be some Scrooge who tells me to fucking ditch Michelin and go and get some $500 Dunlop race attire. But I mean, yeah, other than that, I'm excited for summer. It seems uh, a couple people around me, they, they're thinking about getting them some motorbikes and stuff like that. So, you know, it should be, should be fun. The only problem is, is I don't have nothing else other than the Grom. Completely fine. Hey, I'm grateful, all right? I'm real grateful for the Grom, okay? Uh, but a lot of times whenever people go and buy cruisers or whatever, they wanna, they wanna take long distance trips. They wanna go to Florida. They want to go to somewhere else uh, and uh, yeah to get to Florida you got to take you got to take speedy roads okay you're not gonna really hop on too many back roads I'm sure they're findable especially living in the middle of bump up nowhere I'm, I know they're findable but a lot of times people don't want to take the back roads man you got to worry about dogs and shit and, you know just extra stuff so so being the slowest of a pack brings me back to a story so this story is about me being, I don't know, this is before I had the Honda, and if any of you know, I talk about that damn Honda four-wheeler so much, um, but uh, I was like maybe nine years old, all right, and I had a go-kart, and I got on Facebook Marketplace when Facebook Marketplace just came out, and I was sitting there trading my go-kart, and I traded it for, I traded it for two Chinese four-wheelers, and they were like 110 or 125 or something like that, you know, automatic bullshit, and, um, and I remember uh, hopping in a little pack ride when I asked whenever I was nine years old with my cousin, my sister, and someone else, I don't know. Uh, but we was riding, you know, and like the little Chinese four-wheeler would get too hot. You know what I mean? Because Alabama's hot. Alright, so I would take cups of water and I would <laughs> I would throw it on the motor, man, and just watch all the steam because I thought that was cooling it off. Now you know I know that you do that dumb shit and you could possibly crack the block or whatever but at the time i thought my four-wheeler was getting too hot and i would fucking take bottles of water to throw on the motor so it wouldn't overheat i don't know man was times really that different like 10 years ago because i'm not that old like 10 10 12 13 years ago was you know because nowadays if you hear about a nine-year-old or an eight-year-old like riding a fucking four-wheeler on the road you probably assume that's like the stupidest shit you ever heard of but i mean back then it, in just a short amount of time, I don't know, it was kind of normal for me. I rode my go-kart down the road and my four-wheeler and uh, I don't know, I think I was always taught to stay safe and if I seen a car coming, you know, get off the road and all those things and I don't know, maybe I can give myself props. I was, uh, I was a mature nine-year-old. In fact, I know I was. My life kind of 
Yeah, I was a real mature nine-year-old. Yeah. And I decided to demature over the years. See, this is the kind of videos I like to make. Just rattling off what's on my dome and, and telling you all these nice little stories. And, uh, yeah. I guess I should also add in there all my little nine-year-old stories that, again, living in the middle of nowhere, there's not that much traffic on most roads. And it's not like I was hopping on the highway with a Chinese four-wheeler that eventually did break down and never worked again. I forgot, we had called it, uh, we had came up for a name with it. We called it Tink Tink. Because it Tink Tinks. You know what I mean? It Tink 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 Tink. <laughs> so yeah, Tink Tink is, uh, special. Anyway, that's going to be all for today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're getting so close. We're getting so close to the first part of YouTube's uh, partner program. So if you could, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, do those things. It helps the video out a lot. And uh, yeah, hope all of you uh, stay safe, have a great day, and um, yeah, I'll see y'all later.